Shout him out real quick. Okay. Modern, modern King Boxing. Mm-hmm. He said something. And he, because I, I was like, oh, you must know I got something to say. He said, what did he say? He said, uh, 15s. He said something like always keeping it real or something like that. Because, uh, and and not shying away from the truth. Something like, I got a lot to say. Okay, go on. You, what about Dubai? About, 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 about the whole day? About Big Baby. What, I can't even call him Big Baby no more. Man. Chop, chop, top of the morning. We back. Modern King Boxing 2024, enjoying the heavyweight division. We have a slew of great boxers in this division, and they came out with the rankings of who's ranked in all four sanctioning bodies. You have Anthony Joshua ranked in all four sanctioning bodies. Tyson Fury was missing from the list of all four sanctioning bodies. Usyk was missing from the, all the four list of sanctioning bodies. Um, you had Frank Sanchez on there. You had um, you had a couple other boxes on there. There's heavyweights that are basically in all four sanctioning bodies. Herkovic was in there. Um, I even seen Caballal in there. You see what I'm saying? Like the day of reckoning brought a fire to the heavyweight division, and Anthony Joshua is the trendsetter of that division, even though Usyk is the champion. So this tells you a lot about the direction of 2024 and what Turk al and the Day of Reckoning has done for the sport. All in one supercar. We have Francis Ngannou, who fought on the previous car, him and Tyson Fury. And that fight did a lot to catapult the sport in the heavyweight division. So we look forward to another great, spectacular year in the heavyweight division is leading the charge. Shout out to Joseph Parker for his fantastic 12-0 victory over Deontay Wilder. And there you have it. Shout out to Sean Porter. He's an ambassador to the sport of boxing. And we appreciate him for everything he's done and accomplished in the sport. And now he's taking his prowess to the social media world and giving us spectacular commentary along with Al Bernstein and the other guy in the middle. And there you have it. Shout out to the boxing heads, worldwide presence, true media world of boxing. Shout out to all the content creators who give us the fights, who talk about the fight in its true form as we see it today in modern times. I'm a wolf. Shout out to the UGC Flame, the Underground, BHP, Black Horse Promotions. Let's go. True media.